Okay, let's go create a course. Now, this will be uh, more than a two-minute Moodle because there's a, quite a bit of content to cover. Um, okay, so let's say we've had, we have successfully logged into the web in, into the into our Moodle site, and let's say I want to create a course in the miscellaneous um, category. All right, I go to miscellaneous category. There are already a few um, courses in there. Um, and I would like to add a new course. I click on a new course. Uh, I can change the category, remember that, but we'll keep it in miscellaneous um, that we had it initially. Um, let's say uh, we're going to call it uh, two minute Moodle's test, and the short name for it is two minute two mm. And I will add the word home, and this is to uh, make breadcrumb navigation, which is explained later a little bit easier. Um, you, if for large site, an ID number is a useful thing to have. Um, uh, by the way, all these little um, uh, little uh, yellow question marks, little ovals with question marks, they contain help for uh, a, a context relevant help for this particular item. Okay, so you can click on them at any time. And it will show you what you need to, what, probably what you'd like to do. So, write a concise and interesting paragraph that explains what this course is about. This is what the test is asking me about. And this is just a very brief description, probably a sentence about what the course is about. So, this is a test course to show the creation of a, oops, of a Moodle course. Okay. Now, we have different formats. Let's first try the weekly format. And this is uh, for a more time sensitive um, courses that we run. A uh, number of weeks of topics we can specify it. So let's say we're just running it over a five week period. Uh, it will start today, which is um, 1st of May 2008. Um, uh, for any of these items, if you, I'm not going to go into great detail here, but for any of these items, if you'd like to learn more about it, as I said, you can click on the uh, little yellow ovals and it will show you the context help. Uh, the more important ones the, here uh, would be to um, uh, specify the maximum upload size for the files that you will have in there. So if you don't want to chew up your bandwidth, you can actually specify this to uh, be, for example, to a very small files, depending on what you're doing. Um, uh, okay, enrollment into the course. In most cases, an internal enrollment, what this means that as the person clicks, uh, who's assigned a student uh, in, in, in a particular Moodle site, if that person uh, clicks on the name of the course, they will give it an option if they would like to enroll in a course, they click yes and they automatically become um, uh, enrolled in a course. There is another option um, that you can specify that is not enrollable, um, but, uh, uh, and that means that you need to actually enroll them manually, but I, we will cover that in the enrollment uh, two-minute Moodle as well. You can, uh, if you would like a particular date uh, date range for the course to be uh, live, you can specify it here. I will disable it for now. Um, we don't have any groups at the moment. Um, there'll be another post on the group mode. Um, the course is available to students. is not available to students. If you click the not available to students, the course will actually be not be able to be seen by the students. Uh, only by you. This is particularly handy if you uh, are just working on a course and adding features to it before actually publishing the course or launching the course. Um, so students won't be able to see it, but you will, and you can do some work in it before you actually launch the course. And uh, down the bottom, you can have the um, you can specify the access by guests, uh, whether they have the key, i.e., password, or uh, guests who don't have the key. The choice is yours. So you save changes, and once again, we're going to look at the weekly um, format of the course. Okay. So at the moment, we got a teacher. Okay. A test dummy. That is myself as logged in, but I can specify. I can specify, for example, a student. 
and it will type in my name and I've enrolled Thomas Larsic as a student into this course. Okay, now you will see up the top here the breadcrumb navigation, which I will talk about a little bit later, but let's just have a look at it here. This BCC student, this is the home page of the entire website. Miscellaneous is the category on that website under which the course called Two Minute Moodles or short 2MM Home, remember that short name that we gave it, that's where it, uh, that's where it, um, it sits. So once we've assigned all the students, we can just simply click on the home page, if you like, of our course, and here we are, weekly outline. Okay, uh, we are in a, in, a, in a weekly format of a course. If you would like to change the setting to a... Um, so here we are again. Uh, this is the little uh, breadcrumb navigation, the little short name that you saw on the top over here. Okay, and this is why it's handy to actually call it home page because the kids might have a few windows open. It always helps them to sort of get back home. Um, let's try the, um, as you can see, there are uh, quite a few formats. We're just going to look at three. Um, a topics format, and this is the one I personally often use the most uh, because it is actually quite um, flexible. Uh, as you can see, the weeks have gone. Um, I only have the topics 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, which I can edit and change and label to whichever way I actually want it, but I'm not going to do it right here in this particular post. We're going to look at it a little bit later in uh, working with courses. Okay, and the last course setting that we're going to look at is a social format. And I scroll it down and save changes. And this is pretty much uh, dominated by a forum to which uh, people can subscribe um, and becomes really a more of a, a, a social posting on message board rather than um, any extended uh, a, a posting of materials, things like that. Okay, I hope this has helped you get an idea just of how to actually create a course.